What is going on? Dark Sticks here, and today we're going to do the day 112 update of our free to play account. Uh, this is a brand new account we just started, and we are going to jump right in and go ahead and get Bosca there to four stars. Uh, continuing that, we're also going to get Geo Brood Alpha to five stars. Going to try to finish him off uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, we do want to get him up and running so we can have the Geos uh, for our guild. Um, so Captain Rex is going to go seven stars, which means we are going to, uh, this week we are going to look at upgrading, um, those and getting them up and running so that we can do, uh, I want to do Palpatine with them and also Thrawn. If I can get those two unlocked, uh, to seven stars, I think that'll be, will put us at a pretty good spot. Poggle will still buying out of Galactic War. Uh, I want to finish him off, and then we're going to focus on the new raid characters that are in Galactic War. Um, and we're also focusing on some of the ships. Uh, we have, I have decided, if you guys look at what we are farming, I am going to go for Executor first, because um, that does seem like it's an accelerated path at this point. Um, so if I can go that, and then right after that, kind of follow it up with um, all of our stuff for... Uh, Oh, whatever else we need to do uh, for profundity. I think that's the path we're going to take. Um, so we'll have two GL ships fairly quickly into the account, hopefully. Uh, I'm hoping six months from now we can get um, Executor. Uh, we'll see if we can keep that up, though. Uh, it is going to take us a little while here to get our account really up and running. Hey, Secura here to six stars. So he's going to be needed in the new raid. Uh, we are going to try to at least build one good team for the raid. Um, unfortunately, um, the way it's launching right now, I don't think we've got kind of a haphazard team built, and I don't know how well we're going to do. We'll see uh, when it rolls out um, how well we actually do in that. Um, but we will go ahead. Uh, we've got Padawan Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, we can go ahead and put him um, up. But honestly, that team is just not going to help us at all uh, so we're going to keep getting his shards uh, once he goes farm roll we'll kind of think about that one uh, unfortunately because Padme is behind uh, or Queen Amidala is behind Conquest uh, that's just not going to be an option for us for quite some time I IG-88 we are going to try to build up our bounty hunters um, and get them up and running so that we can get Chewbacca uh, that is going to require, I think I'm going to try to hold off Galactic War changes and everything. I think we're going to uh, hold off on a lot of these and try to get Mando and Grief Karga out of that. And that should make it a lot easier. So probably about the time we get um, Bosk up to 7 stars, then I'll work, start working. Uh, once I know where I'm kind of close on that, we'll start working on uh, Grief and Mando. Uh, we are... Also going to be farming Queel, um, so that should help us a bit in that uh, regard. And then you can see we already got uh, Grief and Mando a little bit anyways out of some of the other stuff. We'll go ahead and activate Captain Drogon. Uh, his vent came back around, um, so, and so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, Nisa should be going a farmable or accelerated farm soon. Uh, so that may be an option that we want to pursue. Um, I'm, I'm trying to decide. I, I want to get Wicket just because of the extra Zetas I can get every month for him. Um, and then I, I'd like to get Nisa just to make that event easier for C-3PO. Um, because honestly, I'm hoping Captain Rex kind of does the same thing for the Thrawn. There was a lot of RNG involved in that one before. And it was, wasn't was impossible, like we'd done it before, like you can look back, and we built a pretty weak team and got through that, but I'd like to make that a little bit easier, uh, C-3PO, and hoping Captain Rex does the same thing. Plo Koon is one that we need to work on, um, we're slowly farming him when he's available, uh, mainly out of, I believe he's in um, the fleet store, and you can see Nisa. Uh, we did get, because since that event rolled back around, we got some shards of her out of that. Um, so we should be pretty close. Uh, I feel pretty good about that. Um, Scarif Rebel Pathfinder. We're just activating these just to get our GP up a little bit. 
um, and then we can go in and we did start farming uh, Wicket a little bit and then I dropped him off once we started going for executor um, so I mean he's at least unlocked um, but we'll add him back once we drop a couple other characters off um, once we're done farming them like Piet probably would be one that we get here shortly range trooper same thing so if we can add a few of those uh, we're gonna go in here though and um, go ahead and upgrade all of these um, the characters we're gonna use so we are gonna use uh, I did decide we're gonna use Kanan um, and Zeb so it'd be Hera Chopper Captain Rex uh, Zeb and then uh, Kanan so those five for the Thrawn and Emperor Palpatine just because of our counter chance with Kanan uh, Zeb has that nice daze so we can start spreading that around and stun people and then Captain Rex obviously with the multi attack um, on that so um, we're going to start applying Oma Omegas and I mean we're just gonna do these um we're gonna wait on that one probably do need to apply one of the Zetas I think the other one's better that last one that we were looking at um, but we'll go ahead and upgrade these characters so that we can do the Thrawn and do the Emperor Palpatine uh, the one two there and that should give us uh, uh, that'll give us a couple more characters um, for that uh, I think with the changes to um, the early game uh, the stuff they're giving you Phoenix is definitely something I would focus on early um, I still think I, I think now with the raid changes I, I don't know we'll, we'll see once it comes around we'll see how difficult it is um, if it's where we can get some score with low level Jedi we may want to focus on that um, first like build out the Luminara and Kit Fisto probably some other stuff like that uh, but we'll see honestly it's, it's tough to tell right now uh, how we're gonna do in that um, but we are upgrading them obviously the unique to territory war I'm not worried about right now um, chopper I do want to give him as much chance as I can and I'm not gonna worry about that one this one we are gonna upgrade um, just to give him more evasion um, and we'll go ahead and do that and do that one and then this unique um, I think that's important um, because the uniques do apply across them all and so it is important to go ahead and get those as updated as we upgraded as we can fortunately I think I'm out of Omegas so that might be where we leave them off so Zeb not gonna be as strong as he could be um, but we'll keep upgrading them a little bit. I would like to get all of them to 85 eventually. Uh, we'll see if we're able to do this. Uh, we probably do need to change some mods around. Uh, those mods are pretty atrocious on them, but we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, along with the troopers, try to get them, uh, ready as well. As soon as we get Piet to seven stars, we'll go ahead and unlock, um, uh, R2-D2 and then we can start working on our CLS unlock team um, there's gonna be obviously we've got to spend some credits on them uh, I probably want to get them all to at least 80 and maybe a couple key ones to 85 uh, Obi-Wan doesn't it isn't a huge need uh, basically he just has to be survivable enough um, to get um, through um, so we'll kind of see, play that one by ear. Um, and then we can go ahead and apply some of this. Obviously not going to be able to unlock everything on him. That at least gives us a good idea of where we're at. 1% uh, turn meter, sure. 10% heal, 10% recovery at some point. Um, but that looks pretty good there. And then, yeah. So our Jedi are looking pretty bad right now, honestly. 
Um, but we've got the trooper team. We've got the nice little Iden team started. Uh, GAC, uh, with that, we didn't really get any holds, I don't think. But maybe it drew out a little bit stronger counter, made some people fail. I don't know. Most of the time, it seemed like in GAC, we did not uh, have a lot of people um, really struggle against it. So we'll see. Uh, we're, we still need to add, like, the Zeta or the Omicron um, to that one. And that should that should help us a little bit there. Uh, that's our main goal is just incremental improvements. Like everybody's defense is pretty bad right now in GAC, um, just depending on where they're at in the game. So as long as we're kind of making improvements here and there, uh, I don't see a problem with that. Um, and we just need to improve everything basically, and then we should be in a good spot. Um, and then we should um, Magnus Hooper. We're not gonna mess with Geo Brute Alpha. Is one I definitely want to upgrade some. We take him up, and then oh, we still don't have Queen's Will. Uh, I definitely want to apply Queen's Will once we get uh, him up far enough. Um, Let's see if we can get him. 62 now. Is that going to be enough? No. What does Queen's Will need? There we go. Um, and definitely, uh, that's going to be one that I do want to apply. I want to apply that Zeta. It's going to help us basically uh, in every game mode that we're going to use it. Territory War, uh, Territory Battle. Um, so... We'll probably, so as far as my thought right now on Omicrons, uh, we'll probably apply one for GAC. Now that might be Qui-Gon's or it might be um, Iden's. I haven't decided on that yet. And then once we apply that one, our second one, I think I am going to apply to Poggle. Um, just because that does make that team a little bit more formidable. And our guild right now is it does have a Geo Wall. Obviously, that's not going to go away anytime soon. Uh, you know, even my account at uh, seven seven million mid game, uh, definitely we still are using a geo wall somewhere in our defense. Um, so that I think is going to stay around, and so there's no reason not to apply that one, um, since we're going to work on the team anyways, and we've got to get it up for watch shards. I, I think that'll be useful. Um, just as we build them up. But right now, our focus got to be get them all to seven stars. Uh, apply. Obviously, we're going to need mods on all of them. Our, our mods are terrible right now. Um, but we are going to add them to some of our teams. And um, just do what we can. Uh, most of them we're not going to upgrade. Um, but we may start upgrading in a few of our teams. Mainly our pilots is probably where I would focus our mod upgrades uh, right now um, because you can see we've got five star mods on a lot of them but uh, five dot mods but we definitely need um, to get those in a better position give them better mods if we can but um, we'll continue working on them um, but yeah I think uh, we're at an okay spot right now let's go ahead and look at some of our shipments you can see always buying those four and then galactic war um those the changes they've added another spot you can get anakin's starfighter out of there you can also get imperial uh fighter um, the tie fighter and then you can get imperial bomber um so that's two that that are going to help quite a bit and then grief and mando are in there which is also going to help with the executor journey uh, means I don't have to farm as many things for that, and I can actually work on side farms um, that are for other things. So Imperial, um, that, and we should be um, at a pretty good spot there. Uh, you can see we are starting to get some um, stuff into the, some crystals into the account has started accelerating a little bit now thanks to Galactic War, or not Galactic War, G GAC. Um, Ghost, we get to six stars. Anakin, we can go ahead and add another star to him. 
he is a pretty slow farm so it's just one we've been focusing on uh, we are doing the slave one and then anakin's and then if we have extra left over right now i am doing um what else are we doing we're doing outrider um but i probably um we'll see on that if we continue doing that probably do need with the new raid i probably need to switch around a few things maybe do b1 or something like that uh, also probably need to add droidica uh, because droidica and cad bane ship xanity blood are on the same node um, so we can probably do both of those and we're knocking out two birds one stone kind of deal um, so we'll continue working on that but i feel like we are at a pretty good spot um, as far as getting some stuff upgraded um, I do feel like, um, you know, getting these ships to seven stars is going to help quite a bit. We're pretty close on Sunfax. Um, and we should be at a pretty good spot. Hopefully, I don't know if we'll get that next week or not. Um, but we're going to continue upgrading slowly but surely our fleets. Uh, 2% term migraine, sure, we'll take that. Uh, definitely have to keep upgrading that. Um, so that we can get Executrix at a better spot. Um, Houndstooth still coming along. Wedge, we can go ahead and get him activated. And then I think Biggs we need to actually uh, keep working on. And we are trying to build out a little bit of a Home 1 fleet um, as our secondary, since we've got to work on all these anyways. Uh, so Biggs is going to be a problem. We've got to farm him. Uh, only one more purchase there, so that's not a big deal. So yeah, we'll keep working on the ships. Uh, Sunfac, uh, we are farming that as long as, as well as buying it out of the fleet store and um, with Mark One currency as well when it shows up in the uh, uh, whatever store it shows up in forget one um, we do buy it out of there as well so it's coming along nicely I think we'll be done with that hopefully next week if it shows up a couple times we should be good um, with that I think right now uh, I don't know if I want to upgrade any of these really um, try to save a little bit of cash we need Grievous to show up one more time so we can get him unlocked uh, that'd be kind of nice and get our droids uh, built up a little bit more in that regard but hopefully you guys enjoyed this update, day 112 of our free-to-play account. And if you did, like, comment, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.